man. Oh, man. Take a look at this. Okay, I know we have done our fair share of talking our trash about the Buffalo Sabres. Talking about how they haven't been good. So much to the point that Jack Eichel is lashing out. And I made a video a few days ago talking about how I wouldn't be surprised that Eichel requested a trade because of the comments he made. Okay, we talked about that. We also talked about Rasmus Dahlin and how he feels like a loser that he isn't in the playoffs and how he's frustrated that the Montreal Canadiens were able to make the play-in series and his team was not able to. We've taken our time again and again to talk about the Buffalo Sabres and how their players are honestly starting to turn against them. But this story, dude, oh my goodness, this story, I can't believe it. It gets even worse. Let's talk today about Lawrence Pilute. Who is Lawrence Pilute? Well, he is a 5'11 defenseman who played in Sweden for the majority of his career. He's 24 years old born in 1995, and he is a guy who was most recently a part of the Buffalo Sabres organization. Except, just earlier this week, he signed a two-year contract with, and here it is, the Traktor Chelyabinsk in the KHL. That's not the Buffalo Sabres. That's not a team that is looking to capitalize on the youth and the potential of a young defenseman like Lawrence Palut is. In fact, it's a weird story with Palut, because Palut to me has always been a very highly touted prospect. Back in the 2017-2018 SHL season, so this is the SHL, this is in Sweden, this is back when Lawrence Palut was 22 years old. I remember watching this season very closely, mostly because I'm a Canucks fan and seeing Elias Pettersson do Elias Pettersson things in the SHL in 2018 was absolutely phenomenal. He was the best player in that league, the best player in that country, consistently the best player in the regular season and in the playoffs. But Lawrence Palut was a guy who stood out to me because he was a 22-year-old puck-moving offensive defenseman who was able to score himself 38 points in 52 games with the HV71 hockey team. At that point, he had spent pretty much his fifth full year in the SHL at 22 years old, and I remember NHL fans and media, prospect fans, all clamoring about this guy and saying, okay, whoever signs Lawrence Palute is getting a legitimately good 50 to 60 point potential player in the NHL in his prime, as a D-man, mind you. So, when the Buffalo Sabres signed this guy, a little bit after that season, I was like, yo, this team is crazy. They already have Casey Middlestad. They already have Jack Eichel. They already have Sam Reinhart. They already have the pieces to make this team extend into the long-term future with prosperity. And they just added the best young up-and-coming prospect defender in the world via free agency who could step into the league the next season and potentially make a 20 to 30 point impact buffalo man you guys are crazy that's not what he did though because lawrence palute after signing his contract played 33 games with the buffalo sabers he had six points he played 30 games with the Rochester Americans, though, in the AHL, and he had 26 points over there. So, he was really getting a chance to shine in the American Hockey League. But his Buffalo Sabres time was him because he... And he recently became an RFA, which the Buffalo Sabres didn't end up re-signing him because he signed a contract with the KHL's Tractor Chelyabinks instead. But it's kind of weird, isn't it? 24 years old, really good in the AHL, and he just yeets away from his NHL team. 
So let's go over to this article over here on a very nice website, buffalohockeybeat.com, an article written by Bill Hop, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Why did Lawrence pollute bolt from the Sabres to a Russian team? Let's go over to this weird little thing right here and check out the analysis. As a pending RFA, Lawrence Palut possessed limited options, at least if he wanted to continue playing in North America. It's common for agents to threaten teams by saying their client could bolt to Russia or another European locale. It's just part of the negotiations. Usually, they're bluffing. Most players grow up dreaming of skating in the NHL and not the KHL. Patrick Aronson, the European agent who represents Palut, informed the Sabres that his client could sign a deal overseas, a source told the Times-Herald. The Buffalo Sabres did not think Palut, who has played 46 NHL games, would actually leave. Meanwhile, the sides kept negotiating. Then Palut's camp went silent for a couple of days, an ominous sign. When the agent was finally tracked down, he told the Buffalo Sabres, Sorry, man. Lawrence Palut is going to the KHL. And the Sabres were stunned, according to the source. Bro! What kind of half-assed management does this? You guys are trying to negotiate a contract with a player who many touted could become a very, very good power play quarterback in the NHL, something that teams would die for. And you just let him walk away like that. And you're surprised when he signs a contract with the other team because you guys didn't have the perseverance to chase him down and negotiate with the agent properly. This guy goes silent and you let that happen? Once he's finally tracked down, oh, sorry, man, he's gone. He's in Russia now for the next two years. This will take him into the time where he's 26 in his prime and probably putting up like what? Two points every three games, four points every five games in the KHL. This guy was great in the AHL. And if you're great in the AHL, which is lower level hockey played on smaller rinks, I could just imagine what this guy's going to be able to do when he's playing with the Tractor Chelyabinsk in Russia. They just won the sweepstakes for this guy. You think they're not going to give him an opportunity? Lawrence Palut probably had offers coming in from everywhere. Swedish hockey league teams wanting him back. Liga teams who are looking at the free agency period and saying, okay, that guy was great in the AHL, why don't we try to get him? Swiss teams, Czech teams, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy got offers from everywhere, including other KHL teams. So, if Tracker Chelyabinsk is smart with how they use their lineup, they'd look at Lawrence Palut and say, yeah, this guy's gold. This guy is a potential gold mine, and we won the sweepstakes. The next thing to do is put him on our first power play and let him do what Lawrence Palut is able to do. This is not me saying that Lawrence Palut is going to be the next Eric Carlson. But hey, a player who is 24 years old, doing as well as he did in the AHL, does that not signal somebody who at least has some form of NHL potential? And would it not be smart to at least try to give this guy a shot at the NHL level? He wasn't able to do that with any other NHL team because it was an RFA to the Sabres. So, he just yeeted off. The Buffalo Sabres just let this guy walk. And it's surprising to me that their contract negotiation process got to the point where they were stunned that he left. What, you thought he was just going to succumb to whatever it was you wanted for the next contract and sign? Acquiesce to your demands? Because, oh, he's an RFA, he has no power here. Uh, yeah, he does. He's got a freedom of choice to go wherever he wants that's not in the NHL, and he just exercised his right to use that. Buffalo, man. You guys just... Ah, it frustrates me so bad, because this is a guy that I legitimately wanted the Canucks to sign so badly two years ago in 2018, and now he's gone, out of the league, because the team that did sign him did not put in the due diligence to re-signing him. Oh man, this is frustrating. Frustrating is what it is. Ah, oh, I'm gonna end this video here. 
I just can't deal with it anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think about Lawrence Palute and this whole situation. Are you as frustrated as I am that the Buffalo Sabres were not able to re-sign this player? I'm not a Sabres fan, but as a hockey fan in general, it pisses me off to see this. So, all that stuff applies to Social 99. And, bye. <laughs>